well today from Romex Tech we have a tutorial to how to revert back to stock oxygen OS from uh, any ROM custom ROM on the OnePlus 3 so if you want to get back to stock oxygen OS 3.2.4 just follow these instructions and uh, uh, I'll give you the proof also that uh, it will be completely on in stock and it will not be rooted anymore and then you can be uh, sure that you can get the future updates so first of all I'll just tell you I am already on I am currently on Cyanogen 13 official and to start with uh, tap the build number uh, 7 to 8 times to enable developer options now get to the developer options enable advanced reboot here then uh, enable OEM unlocking and then enable Android debugging too now head to the PC uh, we we need four files to be downloaded that are Android SDK Slim the one plus USB drivers uh, I hope uh, you must have you must be having this uh, these two first two files in uh, with you already but if you don't have I have dropped the links to this in the description then you also need this uh, two files which is the stock OS of oneplus 3 and the recovery official stock recovery of the oneplus 3 so first of all make sure that you have your phone charged uh, above 60 percent and have the original USB cable the USB type C cable to connect the phone with the laptop now what you have to do is copy the recovery dot img image to android sdk slims android sdk windows to platform tools folder now once you have copied the recovery dot img in the android sdk slims innermost folder that is platform tools now what you have to do is hold shift then right click then on the uh, computer screen you will get an option to open command window here now select that and then type fast boot devices now don't press enter right now uh, go to the phone and uh, press the power button select reboot and then select bootloader and then press ok and then let it boot into the bootloader now once it is in the bootloader first of all you can see that my bootloader is unlocked which is obvious then uh, connect your phone to your laptop or pc via the usb cable Now you have already typed the fastboot devices and if not just enter fastboot devices after and then press enter. Now your your command prompt should show some serial numbers like this and if the serial numbers are coming like this that means that uh, the phone is detected by the computer. Now what you have to do is type type uh, fast boot flash recovery space recovery dot img and then press enter and it will show finished in certain seconds maybe many seconds then uh, again you have to type fast boot oem lock and then press enter it will say finish now on your phone screen you will have this your mobile will ask you if you want to really lock the bootloader then you have to press the power uh, volume buttons to navigate then just press the down button it will come to yes and then press the power button to select 
and then select it now it will again boot now it will just load there can be a case in which your mobile might be stuck into a boot loop in that case press the power down button with like my phone is stuck in the boot loop now you have to press the power down button with the power button simultaneously for a few seconds and then just leave them you will see a light glowing notification LED now if it was stuck in a boot loop uh, you, will, you, you should have pressed the power down and the uh, volume down and the power button and once they are pressed for around 30 seconds or so it will boot again normally and it will come here so select English uh, go to English by pressing the volume down button and then select the power button uh, press the power button to select it now what you have to do is uh, go in wipe data and catch it and then select factory reset and then press select yes it will do the factory reset and once it is done go to done by pressing the volume down button again and then selecting it by pressing the power button then go up and select install from ADB and select OK then it will show you are in side load mode then connect your phone if you have disconnected it in any case with your laptop or PC or and if you have not disconnected it no problem now once you have connected your phone with the PC you have to close the current command window and then go back to the folder where you have downloaded all the four files which I have given the links for then you have to open a command window here and to do that uh, hold shift and then right click and you will see option to again of open command window here now here you have to type adb side load now here's the condition after you have typed adb side load you have to type the name of the stock os which you have downloaded now if you have given the name something else then you have to give the name which you have given to the stock OS so I have given the stock OS name OTA-3.2.4.zip so after I have typed ADB side load I will type here OTA-3.2.4.zip remember to put this extension then then press enter and it will show you loading OTA 3.2.4.zip now it might take some time so don't worry and it will show daemon started successfully and it will start loading and on the phone also you will see that loading will be started so this means that our phone is going back to stock again with a locked bootloader now it might take some time and actually 10 to 15 or maybe 20 minutes to do that and once it is done this, this is the command window which you will see and on the phone you will see like this and it will ask you for reboot so press the power button to select reboot and it will reboot into stock oxygen OS so I have successfully booted into stock oxygen OS 3.2.4 as you can see here so to give you the proof that uh, we are in the locked bootloader and we can now install system updates and we are completely in stock I'll, I have put the system update 3.2.6 in 
download so once it will download i will install that too and this will prove that we are in the stock oxygen os and we can get all other future updates also so guys the system update downloaded the oxygen os 3.2.6 and as you can see it is uh, updating successfully and if it is updating successfully this is the proof that we are back in stock os and i'll be back as soon as it is booted again in 3.2.6 to show you the about phone so it finally booted up and it is on oxygen os 3.2.6 and as you know we flash 3.2.4 but it is now successfully updated to 3.2.6 via the on air updates so it is successfully back to the stock room thank you keep watching like subscribe comment share tag